Hello, Identity 5 gamers. We're back with some more guessing your rank. That's right. A little while ago, I made a community post about uh, the wave two of guessing your rank, and I got 80 submissions. I took a nap. I was like, okay, here we go. We're close after 30 submissions. I took a nap, and then it was at 80. So, yeah, we got a lot to go through. Um, we're going to have a lot of videos for wave two. Anyway, thank you so much for submitting matches. And as always, quick disclaimer before we get into this. I'm not a great judge of skill. I'm just doing this for fun, so don't take anything super seriously in this video. Anyways, let's get into it. For the first match here, we are going to be watching the composer. You know I love to see Frederick Krieber. Even got the new accessory, which is awesome. Unfortunately, we can't really see the notes being played, but it looks like they're going up against Mary. They have cheerleader, patient, journalist uh, on the team as well. So pretty solid team. You know, this is a, this is a really good team. Mary is chasing after uh, composer here, which does make sense. You know, this is a really good first chase target. You definitely want to um go after the decoder and it's really good that you went up in the two-story areas oh my how the heck what just happened <laughs> i actually don't know what just happened there uh so yeah two-story areas are really really good against mary um this mary's doing a great job as well i'm not sure what's up with the light why does it look green i don't know usually it's red why the heck is it green i don't know what's up with that look at that isn't that is that weird is that like something they can do i don't know how to change that that's that's weird yeah but that, that mary looks like he was uh pulling out some tricks you also brought tide interesting to bring tide with the composer Ooh, good palettes done there too um so if you're new to this series what we do out here is after we uh watch this match we're gonna try and guess the rank so feel free to play along uh and guess the rank typically uh we guess based on like obviously the person who is kiting or whoever like we're going up against Ooh, nice oh my wow okay dang the the going heading back toward mary not to get hit by the mirror hit um now she's coming toward you though she's she might have blink yeah she does have blink she does indeed have blink be careful oh she's not gonna she might not need it maybe she doesn't want to use it but this kite is pretty long honestly she keeps messing up i don't know what's up with this. she keeps like doing little mistakes oh hold on okay you know what when i when i saw that resource being used i would have just blinked oh that was so close. Oh my gosh. Again, the two-story areas are so good versus Mary. Oh my gosh, and the cheerleader gave you support so you can... Oh, careful, blink. Did she... I think she just blinked. Yeah, she just blinked. Oh, you're slow. Can you make it to the pallet? What the... How did she not catch you there? What? Oh, did you get cheerleader speed boost? I'm not sure. Either way, you're about to have your uh, tuning fork ready again. What the... All thanks to the cheerleader. Hold on a second. Five more seconds. This is such a long kite. What? Oh, I think she switched targets. She just switched targets to the cheerleader. Yeah, what the? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll be honest. I don't. I do not know how. You gotta heal me, please. <laughs> I genuinely do not know how. Oh, Adrolis didn't get the body block, unfortunately. You can see Orpheus running with her. <laughs> uh, I, I genuinely don't know how that happened. What the? What happened to her? Oh, she got hit by the tram. <laughs> I was like, what? What's happened to her? What the heck? Okay. Well, now Mary's come back over here, and you're like, oh. Oh, you got... I say, like, don't heal. She's coming. Here's the mirror. Oh, my gosh. I, I was worried she's going to tear shock the uh, the patient there for a second. Yeah, everybody's still got their resources. Trailer's got two pom-poms. Patient's got three hooks. Journalist... Uh, I guess journalist is kind of low on resources, but... Yeah, uh, journalist is kind of low. And... Yep, down she goes. Dude, the... Or <laughs> she has missed, like, all her Orpheus body blocks. What the heck? Okay. Well, again, this has been a... This has been a pretty good match so far. Look at that just beats up Orpheus. <laughs> There's no reason to do that. That honestly just bought time for free. All she had to do was just put you in the chair and then Orpheus would disappear on his own. But she was like, no, die, you idiot. Oh, okay. Unfortunate, but that's okay. Able to get the rescue with the Tide. Tide Composer is very interesting. I will admit. Cheerlet is here. Don't, don't bother healing. Nice. All right, so far this is good. This is good. I, I think I'm going to go for like Mammoth tier so far, but we'll just have to see. She really wants to get this journalist down. There's damage spread out across the uh, across the board. However, the Cypher is... Boom, pop. Oh. Wow, you just popped? Interesting. Um, I guess, you know what? I see the reason for the pop. Because Mary just used up her mirror. Oh my gosh, you got so lucky. She just gives up? Oh my gosh. What? Okay, uh, I'm a little... I'm questioning a little... Well, yeah, I mean, I guess go for the door. Uh, it's cut off the door, but even still. Yeah, that, that was a decent pop. Um, That way, like, because she just used her mirror, so she wouldn't have her mirror for, like, endgame. But... Yeah, this, this might be three escapes. Uh, oh, she was alive, but yeah, she can... Oh. I, no, I, I would just I would just leave. There's no, there's no point in waiting here, right? 
I mean, I guess you could wait out detention, like, theoretically. Yeah, thing is, what can you do? You have, you have 60 more seconds of detention. Journalist gets back up. Is the door... Oh, oh I, see what's, I see what's happening here. You're gonna go rescue cheerleader while she goes down the journalist. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get this. I got this, I got this. Gotcha. So, yeah, if, if the journalist couldn't use that self-heal, there'd be no point. But yeah, you're gonna go rescue the cheerleader. Uh, Mary has Blink. And I don't know if she has Trump card or not. So, yeah, now it's just time to get the heck out of here. Let's see. Yeah, you guys are just both booking it. And you, you might be able to make it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, journalist. Or sorry, Chile has beep beep. She can go crazy. Oh? Whoa, running back this way? What the heck is happening? <laughs> okay, so she just beep beeped twice. I guess Mary must have swapped toward the exit gate. Oh, no, she teleported. She, te she trade swap teleported. What the heck is happening? Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, journalist sees up herself here, so now journalist is back up. And let me guess, cheerleader. What the, dude, what, this mirror, this freaking, mirror, Mary's crazy, She's cut, she keeps cutting off the exits. Well, there's so many people alive, who does she go for? And now detention's gone. So she can't, if she goes for you, there's no point. Are you just gonna go for this exit gate? I think so. Somebody has to die, there's no way this is for escape. Somebody has to die here. Somebody has to die, right? Surely. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, cheerleader's just gonna escape. She should just escape. There's no point. That's that's journalist's last chair, actually. Yeah, no, she, she. I don't know what cheerleader's doing. She should just leave. Please, please leave cheerleader. Oh my gosh, that's her last chair. Leave, guys. Oh wait, it's not her last chair. What? I thought it was her last chair. Oh my. Wait. I thought it was her last chair. No way. Can she get out? Why? What is she doing? What? She should have followed you. Oh, uh, she's not gonna make it out. No, there's no way. Okay, I don't know what the journalist was doing. She's definitely, yeah. All right, just get out. Just get out. Cheerleader, please get out. Okay, three escape. Three escape. All right. That was cool. That was a really interesting end game, winning out detention and whatnot. Interesting. I thought that was the journalist's last chair, too. Yeah, so honestly, that was a pretty solid game. I mean, everybody seemed to know what they were doing. There were definitely some pretty clutch moments in there, for sure. A couple uh, missteps from the Mary. I still don't know how when she blinked and then was chasing her. I do not know how she wasn't able to catch up. I, I genuinely don't know how. But I'm just going to go for Mammoth right off the start. Okay, you're an elk. Eh, I'm one off. I'm one off. That's okay. I'll take it. Next up, we're watching Oli, I think is how it's pronounced. O-L-1-Y. Uh, they're going to be playing a hermit here with that very cool skin. Uh, what are you... What are you doing? I... What? Was there a reason to stay still? Um... Okay, I don't, I don't know what the point of staying still for like five seconds was. I guess maybe you're... Yeah, actually, I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, but interesting that you didn't even connect any of the ciphers yet. Very interesting. Chasing down little girl first. I, I freaking hate little girl, man. <laughs> All right, is she, she's gonna be able to get to this pallet. Let's see. Pat, pat, patroller? Patroller hermit? What? Can you even, I don't even think you're gonna be able to. Okay, no, you can. Patroller hermit, what? I've never seen Patrol, and now you're saying, yeah, you're just talking talk to the composer. Why the heck did the composer come? Why are they both here? What the? What is happening? What are they doing? Why would the composer reveal himself? That's the last, if you're the decoder, the last thing you want to do is reveal yourself to the hunter, especially against Hermit who can slow down Cypher Rush. Okay, I, I, I do not know what is happening. Um, but since you use the charge on both composer and little girl, that means they both, uh, took some of the damage so you're gonna take it's gonna take two more hits to down them let's see can you get the composer if nothing else you're chasing them off the ciphers right however without connecting any of the ciphers the cipher rush Ooh, almost down he goes over here and eh. oh my gosh he almost ran in right in he did he ran right into you what the heck composer should have paid more attention he ran right into you what the heck all right now you now you're gonna connect the ciphers okay i see how it is uh, yeah, one cipher is already complete, though. I, I know, like, hermits sometimes, like, in their first down before they connect the ciphers, but it might be better to connect them if you can't get all. Here we go. The big distance. Still. Hold on. Oh, he's going to loop you here. Ah, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about this, man, because it, it's off to a not so great start. You haven't got it down. It's been almost, like, what, two minutes? Still chasing the composer. However, however, if you get a stun on him and make it red... Uh, you can get some damage onto the little girl. Let's see. Oh, whoa! Seeing where he was going with that, that's actually so cool. What the heck? You can see people like that? I didn't actually know you could do that. Um, 
Or maybe that's a... I'm not sure if that's a replay. Again, I don't play Hermit here. So... What? How did you... How'd you lose track of him? He was right there. I mean, to be fair, I do the same thing. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that coming in my way. Ugh. Ah, dude. Come on. I want you to get this freaking Composer down. I, I do love Composer. And now he has the tuning. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. He's going to get so much distance with this. Ah, no. Oh, but the Patroller, though. Yes. Come on, Jerry. Come on, Jerry. I just call him Jerry. I think he's funny. Come on, Jerry. You got this. I don't think he's going to be able to reach. Jerry, no. Jerry! Jerry! Come on! Jerry! Get him! Ah, oh, didn't even get him. What the heck? I'm sad, bro. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm actually going to cry. Please. Oh, this should be dead. Come on. I say, unless he has, like, flywheel, there's no way. All right, gee. Why is that composer saying sorry? He, he, he kited a long time. He kited a very, very long time. All right, well, you finally got your first down. Not much map presence, though. There's only one Cypher remaining, and uh, not much damage across the board. But looks like Little Girl is going to come on in here. She's got three pages to work with. Uh, nobody has tied except for First Officer, so I'll have to see about the... Oh! Okay, I like your plan here, but the, the thing is, there's no point in doing that. Oh my gosh, never mind! Hold on, you're cracked? You're cracked? <laughs> see, the thing is, when you play as Hermit... You want to do that when the uh, when they're like uh, about to either die or about to reach half chair. Because a lot of time, what Hermit can do is stun and then stun and then do the big Eye of Sauron stun. Oh, it goes all the way back. Uh, almost. But the thing is, first officer should be coming in here, right? This is first officer. Oh, it's female dancer. What the heck? Stun, stun. Let's see. Oh, it gets a hit, but then there's the rescue. Okay, hold on. It's, it's not primed yet. If you can get this composer down, like, right now. Oh, it's not primed yet. Oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, well, they'll be able to rescue the little girl, right? Why aren't they rescuing the little girl? What is wrong with the female dancer? Why aren't they rescuing the little girl? What the heck? That's a free rescue. But that was a free rescue. What the heck? Okay, I do not know what female dancer was thinking. She still has three boxes, too. What? Oh, this has got it. Forget about saving, go for the tie. But why? The Cypher's primed, right? The Cypher is primed. Okay, I actually don't know what this female dancer is doing. She should have saved little girl's soul. She's literally... Why? Why? What's the point? She's not even putting down any boxes. Okay, I, I am questioning the female dancer gameplay here. I, ju I do not know what is happening. Cypher pop? All right, at least they got, at least they got a good Cypher pop. But uh, this is probably a 3K. Yeah. I don't, have we even seen the first officer? I don't think we've seen the first officer at all. Oh my gosh. All right, yeah, th this, this should be it. She didn't use a single one of her boxes? Really? Um. Wait a minute. You can teleport. You can teleport to the exit gate. Hold on. Wait a minute. No way. No. Are you going to do it? Do it. Yes, you're doing it. Oh, but he's going to be able to get out, isn't he? No, he's not. Oh my gosh. Hold on. It was off to such a bat. That's it? Boom! What? I can't believe that. All right, all right. I, I hate to say it, but Female Dancer actually threw. That that was a tie. That was actually a tied game. Female Dancer threw. I mean, you capitalized on it like crazy, but who boy, Female Dancer actually threw. So this is a little hard for me to judge because I actually don't play Hermit. I know his skills, but um, I think the stuns, like even though you got that Terror Shock and the little girl, the thing about the stuns is you don't want to do that unless you're like waiting for them before half. Cause it's like, if it's like right before half, then use the stuns to prevent them rushing before half. And you do the same thing if they are like waiting to the very end uh, of the chair time, then you can even just let somebody die on chair. Uh, by stunning, stunning, and then doing the Eye of Sauron freaking thing or whatever it's called. You know, you know the, the, the big tower, and then he comes crashing down or whatever. Anyways, good comeback. I gotta say, good comeback, even though the female dancer kind of threw that match. I think I'll keep it safe. Um, the composer had, like, a pretty decent kite. You know, you were chasing pretty well, knew when to use the stuns for the most part. Uh, I think I'm gonna go Crocodile. I think I'll just play it safe. Let's go Crocodile. Aw, snap! Crocodile rank! Let's go! That's our first win. We are now 50-50 so far. Next, we're watching ya boy Tony playing Evil Reptilian Lucino. Uh, toy Merchant, Little Girl, Enchantress, and Psychologist is what they're going up against. Uh, you know me, I never like seeing Enchantress, so... 
Oh, goes for the big jump. Oh, that actually looks cool. What the heck? All right, fighting Toy Merchant first. Toy Merchant's not really in the best area to set up her catapults, actually. Toy Merchant really wants to spawn near the boat because uh, she can loop the boat so well. Uh, doesn't do anything here. Hmm. Okay. Gonna loop the shack area. What the? Oh, brings Blink. Blink is interesting. Also, you have confined space as well, so no trump card. You only have peepers for the whole match. But the thing is, if people try and uh, if people try and tight cut you around these areas with walls, all you have to do is jump over them, peeper, and then you can see exactly where they want to go. Oh, got that knee jerk reflex speed boost, and able to make it across the pallet. Will she put down a catapult? No catapults at all yet. Interesting. Toy Merchant saying, "Help me, please." Yeah, I don't think she's gonna be able to. Oh, hold on. Oh. Uh Nice, 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 nice. I was worried about the pallet stun. If she got that pallet stun, that would have extended the kite quite a bit. But pretty pretty solid down, pretty solid down. Not a single cypher done yet. No chair right there, unfortunately. Sometimes there's a chair there. Uh, the question is, who's going to come in for the rescue? Probably the psychologist since he has tied. Uh, maybe the enchantress? I guess any of these characters are like okay at rescuing, but I can see the psychologist. Oh, yep, yeah, she's already here. She's going to wait. Oh, yeah, she's going to wait. Oh, never mind. Not waiting that much. Oh, no, you're, you're not. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the thing is, I was about to say, oh, oh, my gosh, that psychologist, man. Oh, I was about to say, psychologist is the one character who wouldn't be get, who wouldn't get hit by that trick. The thing is, one of the biggest tricks I see uh, with this character is when he goes for the jump, he smacks down, and then he goes for the basic attack. And yeah, you're gonna do, be able to do it to a little girl too. It's like you do that smack down and then you go for a basic attack and then they can't rescue. But I was gonna say, Psychologist is the one character that doesn't really matter against since he has three HP. However, however, she got terror shocked. <laughs> and then you did the same thing to the little girl. Oh my gosh, dude. I swear, like people need to know about that trick. They need to know about Lucino goes for the jump. He's gonna smack down. And then you have to avoid that first, then you can go in for the rescue. Because once he does that, uh, you're, you're fine. You're fine to go for the... Oh, my gosh. It's going to happen again? Oh, my gosh, dude. That's literally one of the biggest skill checks in the game. I honestly, I think, I think. I'm saying it right now. If there is one skill check in this game that you need to know about, it's this. It is this right here, or else you're getting swept. That's I, I can't... I, I guarantee it. I don't know how many times it's happened, but, like... So many evil reptilian mains, I guarantee, like, in, in, like, somewhat low tiers, just get all their wins by doing this one trick. <laughs> you know, like, oh, there's the pallet slam. Now, I gotta say, this has a really cool, uh, a, a really cool freaking skin. Look at, like, the steam coming out. What is it? Is like, coral or something? That's so cool. Oh, here we go again. Boom. Oh, there you go. Good job. Oh, I was worried about Terra Shock. Jeez. Oh, I was so worried about Terra Shock. And Terra had some stuns. Will she use it? Will she? Let's see. Now she has pallets. Oh, there it is. Yep. Big stun. You know, honestly, if I was the Enchantress, I would have pallet slammed after that. Oh, here we go. Boom. Down she goes. Wow, dude, the, the range on the jump is pretty good, too. But yeah, everybody watching, know this. Know this now. And please know this because this trick, this freaking trick that Lucino does is so good. Like, it, it has to be one of the biggest skill checks in the game with Lucino camping the chair. Like, he just goes for the big jump, smacks down, basic attack, and then you can't do anything. Like, it, it has to generally be one of the biggest skill checks. And, like, the thing is, they're, they're going to take advantage of that. Oh, my gosh. Those jumps are crazy, dude. The distance you get from them is so cool. Uh, Toy Merch is coming back in for the rescue. Here she comes. Nope. Can't make it. Uh, now she's. If I'm the Toy Merch here, I just run to the boat. What is she doing? Go to the boat. You can loop the boat so easily. I mean, I guess against Lucina you can't. Yeah, honestly, I guess Lucina you kind of can't. There's some... Ooh, nice. She, try, she probably wanted her catapult. Now, there, there is some really good spots to uh, loop around the boat, but... Oh, wow, they just surrender. Yeah, honestly, I mean, that, that match was... That was a dead game. I mean, I guess they could have tried for dungeon. They should have tried for dungeon. Come on. At least try, guys. If this is ranked, just at least try. Anyways, very solid evil reptilian gameplay. Like, I I'm telling you, dude. Everybody needs to be aware of the trick of the just the jump, the smackdown, and the basic attack. Like it's so good, and I swear so many players just get hit by it. Myself included. I've been better at like watching out for it, but you know, sometimes I still get hit by it myself, and then like when I get hit by it, I just leave. 
because I know I'm gonna get basic attacked and I just usually leave unless it's extremely critical and I try and force like a chair hit but like, otherwise I, I know I'm just gonna lose that freaking strat and it's it's really good I swear if you play like this character at low tiers you're going to be able to just you're gonna be able to sweep through the tiers so easily just because of that one trick like unless they sell that you're just gonna be able to sweep I guarantee it so yeah um I would have again liked to see the toy merchant try ahead to the boat area but I can't just judge it on the toy merchant alone I'm just gonna go for crocodile should I say crocodile? I'll say crocodile. Yeah, I think that's probably as good as no matter. I'll say crocodile. Let's just see for Ruccino. Oh, Cobra. All right, you're in Cobra. Gotcha. Well, all right then. I'm one tier off. You know, I I'm sure you're going to be able to get to uh, to crocodile without too much trouble. Next match here, we're going to be watching Bloody Queen, uh, Etafe here. They're going up against Perfumer, Mercenary, Explorer, and Prospector. Gotcha. Pretty pretty solid team here. Uh, Mercenary with Tide. Anybody else have Tide? Nope, no Tide. Okay. Only one character with Tide. Explorer with uh, with, with um, knee jerk reflex is interesting. A lot. I see a lot of explorers just run Tide because I feel like it's just better. Because a lot of the time they're just hiding. They don't really need to take the kite. And wow, already finds the prospector. Already gets a mirror hit. Gonna swap here. Nope, not gonna swap just yet. Follow him a bit more. There's a swap. Okay. Let's see. Nice magnet and boop. That was a good magnet. That was a good magnet. But I guess. Oh, where's he gonna transition to? Probably just right around here. Uh, I think you're running Blink here. Another Magnet. Before you pick it up. Oh! Oh! I thought he's gonna get hit there. I would've dropped the pallet. <laughs> I definitely would've dropped the pallet there. Will he here? Uh, I wouldn't have dropped that pallet. Nope. No, I would not. And you, that's the thing. It, you didn't even need to use your Blink. I feel like... I mean, I guess you had Mirror, so you probably didn't need to, but like... I probably just used my Blink right there, you know? If, if, if I didn't get the pallet set, of course. If I didn't get the, the pallet hit, I would've just used Blink right there and just got him down. Um... So yeah, pretty pretty fast down onto the prospector. Uh, Perfumer's cipher is at 73%, but that's probably the cipher with the most progress right now. Explorer is still trying to find pages, only at 47, which is a bit odd. I'm not sure why he isn't at 50. Uh, looks like you found. Is this the explorer? I think it is. What the heck? What's the explorer? What? Oh no, you can see. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's so good. The explorer. The explorer was actually exposed. So now you can just down him. Oh my gosh, he can't hide! <laughs> he can't hide! That's so funny! Interesting that you also left the chair. You left the chair just to down the explorer, which honestly... Blink? Yep, I knew it. I would have blinked there too. And can you get him? Oh, the knee jerk reflex is just a little bit too fast, but you have Mir to work with. Should be able to down him right here. Yep, Mir. And... Oh, not quite. Hold on. Oh! Okay. You gotta get this explorer down now. You can't let him use those pages. The thing is, that 47% page, it's completely useless if you get him dead. Well, not quite. I mean, other people can pick it up, but still. Buddy, that's not going to help you. That's not going to help you. In fact, making yourself smaller makes you move slower. There's no point in doing that at all. Oh, but here comes Prospector to harass. Oh. Oh, you're just making him waste the magnet. Are you going to go? Oh. Oh. This is a very aggressive strategy. Okay. The question is, will you pick up Prospect? Actually, you will. Pick up Prospector first. Yeah, because he's dead on chair. He's dead on chair, yep. That's smart. Don't let anybody support him. He's dead on chair. Boop, boop, boop. Down he goes. Goodbye, Prospector. Then you go back for Explorer. He should not be able to self-heal in time. And if he does, again, he's Explorer. He has nothing to work with. Yep. Okay, yeah, your, your aggression has paid off. Uh, Mercenary's already used up Tide. Like, that was a pointless Tide, too. Mercenary was coming, to, coming for Tide, but there's no point. There's no point for the Tide. This aggression is really paying off. You can see somebody on that Cypher. Oh, they just finished it, but here comes the mirror moment. Uh, yep. Swap the, swap the spot on the mirror, and can you get on? I think that's, uh, oh, here comes Merc. Uh, you, you pressure them off the Cypher. I mean, they finished it, but I, I see their gameplay. Just pressure them off the Cypher. Get the hit on the Mercenary. Very nice. Um. Oh, this was recorded a long time ago. This is, this is pre-nerf Mercenary. Yeah, look at that. The delayed damage is not as fast. All right, so this was this was recorded a while ago. Okay, this is not this is not um, nerfed mercenary. This is still before. This is still when he has 15 seconds as opposed to eight seconds. And boop. Not that it matters because you downed him anyway. Uh, he could be able to go to this rescue. No, he's probably not. Yeah, no, probably no point. Perfumer, perfume. Yep, gonna do it. Oh, I was wondering if she's gonna get terror shock there. Oh boy. Body block. Fails the body block. Welp. Um, at this point, what Perfumer should do, if you ask me, is just try and get Dungeon. Honestly, this is a dead game. This is actually a dead game. Yeah, get out of here. 
Nah, she should have just ran away and hid. If I was a perfumer, I would have just ran away and hid. Yeah, that, no, that's it. This is it. The thing is, Mercenary, if he gets back up, he's just going to take longer and longer to heal. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, this is uh, oh, the blink! Oh, it's over, dude. Go back for the Merc. And what can he do? Even mirrors to go back. Wow. Yep, that's it. Yeah, they just surrender. There's no point. Wow, that was an aggressive game. Very clean sweep from the Bloody Queen there. I love seeing aggressive gameplay, dude. I, I really prefer to see hunters that like go in and are super aggressive as opposed to ones that just camp. Because camping hunters are just, you know, they're not as exciting to watch. The ones that are super aggressive, those are the fun ones to watch. And Mary could be really, really aggressive with that mirror. I'm gonna go for Sabretooth Tiger, let's see. Ah, you're in Crocodile. Okay, one rank off, one rank off. On the bright side, I have been like one off, one tier off or right on the nose this whole time. So if, I, if I'm always like one tier off, I'm never mad about that. Next match, we are going to be watching Maytel here, the Mind's Eye, going up against Nyad uh, with Cowboy, Composer, and Enchantress on the team. I, I don't really know what she's doing here. What is she doing? What? What are you doing? Are you waiting for that Cypher to... Why? I mean, I guess... Uh... Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do this personally myself. It'll be ready in eight seconds, but... Okay, no, I'm sorry, I, I miscounted. <laughs> I thought it'd be ready in eight seconds. Yeah, I mean, uh, see, the thing is, that Cypher is disabled for, I think it's 40 seconds at the start of the match. Um, I, I would have just found a different Cypher, but I guess there were not really any close by to you in hindsight. And I guess this is like a pretty safe Cypher as well. So I guess I can see the point of hiding it out. Plus, you are Mind's Eye, so your decoding is very, very fast. So yeah, dude, look at this awesome decode gameplay. Woo! Nine hasn't got a single hit yet. This is crazy. Ooh, one Cypher is now complete. Okay. Uh, let's see what you do here next. I mean, I guess the you know, next thing you just go to a Cypher. It's weird to see the Mind's Eye replay doesn't have, like, the effect that the Mind's Eye has, where it's, like, really hard to... Not, not hard to see, but it's, like, a lot darker. Yeah, no, you, you take, over, take over that Cypher. Take over... What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. No, you, you what you want to do is take over his no, take over his cipher. He, you're a decoder. I don't know what you're doing. No, well the thing is, it, the cowboy should be the one to move because what you're doing here is you're losing decode time. If you are the mind's eye, you need to take over cipher, make cowboy move, and then you just Tristan's right in the hunter. Okay, I actually don't know what your plan was here. I genuinely don't know what the plan was here. If you are mind's eye, you want a nice flywheel. If you are mind's eye, you want to focus on the coding. If you took over the cowboy cipher, he would have had to move, then he would be taking the kite. I mean, I guess uh, maybe you're a decent kiter. However, when you're the mind's eye, on paper, you want to be decoding. All right, you don't really seem to know your kiting routes either because you're stepping right into the water. Okay, I'm questioning a lot of your decisions here. <laughs> There's only one pallet for you to work with here. Um, I would have tried to go into the church and maybe start looping it. When you drop the pallet here, I think you're going to go down. Ooh, wow, nice. The cowboy's here for the support. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, again, I would have, I would have really liked to see... Nice body block from the cowboy. I would have really liked to see you take over the cowboy cypher though, because this whole time the cowboy should have been taking this kite while you were supposed to be on the cypher, because you do have a 23% decoding uh, buff. Uh, you are the fastest decoder in the game. Oh, okay. Pallet slam? Wow, you actually got it. What are you doing? Go, 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 come on. <laughs> you don't waste time. Oh my gosh, you know, maybe, oh, you know what, now that I think about it, this also could be a little bit of lag. You do, you are playing with 250 ping basically, so. Yeah, that, that, that definitely uh, makes things a little bit... Oh, how? All right, all right. How are these not hitting you? I'm generally surprised these aren't hitting you. What the heck? Nine's hitbox is so freaking huge. If that was me, I would have got hit every single time. All right. Uh, Probably going to go down here. But the Enchantress support? What? Oh, my gosh. Your teammates are actually like supporting you so well. The Cowboy extending your kite. The Enchantress extending your kite. I mean, that's what you gotta do for the freaking mind's eye. Was somebody literally named Amazon Prime? What's up with that? <laughs> wait, somebody is. Wait, <laughs> dude, the cowboy and the composer on a team. Their names are Amazon Prime and Optimus Prime. That's actually so funny. What the heck? Oh, that's so funny. Oh, you're gonna get watered off here. Be careful. Oh. Oh, you're gonna go down. Oh, careful. Down and go down, but Cyberpop? Is it ready yet? It's not ready yet. Okay. Well, that is the first cherry. You did a pretty good job of kiting. I'm generally surprised how well that went for you, though. I feel like there were like three or four instances where you should have gone down, but you didn't. Um, again, though, what, what you want to do when it comes to being a decoder, 
I know, like, so the whole thing is, like, duo decoding bad, right? But you, if you are a decoder, you take over somebody else's cipher and they leave. Because while, while you're running away, you're losing that 23% buff to decoding time. Whereas when the cowboy runs away, you know, his decoding speed is 100%, right? Whereas yours is 123% or whatever, however the math of it works. Um, basically, you finish ciphers uh, faster than cowboy, so you want to decode as opposed to cowboy. Um, but either way, doing a good job of kiting here. Cypher should be primed now. The dungeon is in the area, so yeah, this is actually perfect. This is the this is the exact area that you want to be in. It's a good kiting area, and it's near dungeon. Bit of an odd pallet there. Um, I would just get hit here. Oh. Okay, they just say focus on decoding. Well, the thing the thing is, I'm wondering if you can get dungeon escape here. Um, she does have blink. She should just go for it. All right, is she gonna do it? Just blink. What is she doing? Just blink, Naya. Just blink. Well, okay, I actually don't know what Naya is doing either. Um. <laughs> Okay, the speed boost. Hold on. They should get out. Just get out, guys. Come on, just get out. Oh, one of them went to the other. Why is Amazon Prime going to the other exit gate? Why? There's no point. And Nyad's not blinking. Why isn't she blinking? Secure the down, Nyad. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. I mean, you're doing a great job of playing in this area, but I don't know why the Nyad isn't blinking. Just blink. Stop breaking the pallet. Just blink. You have Blink! What is wrong with you? Oh my gosh, all I can think of is why she isn't blinking. If she blinked, you would have been dead so long ago. No way you get Dungeon Escape. You're gonna get Dungeon Escape. You're actually gonna get it. No way. No way. I, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. I feel like you're gonna get it. Oh. All it takes is one mistake from Nyad. Just blink. Just blink. Just secure the down, please. I'm begging you. You don't have flywheel. Wait, you have flywheel. I just realized you're not even running borrowed time. You have flywheel. What? What the heck? I didn't even notice that. Um. That's why. That's why they just popped. I see. Flywheel. Oh. Uh, I would just flywheeled. If you had flywheel, just go for it. You didn't even have borrowed time. You just flywheel. Go for it. Yeah. Uh. A lot of questionable decisions from both sides, honestly. However, you're doing a decent job of kiting in the mid game. I was a bit surprised at that. But again, you want to focus on decoding with the mind's eye. You definitely just wanted to take over that cypher. I mean, again, it was more fun to watch this match because you kited. However, you know, on paper, what you should have done is taken over the cowboy cypher and he should have been the one to kite. His kiting ability is a lot better. You know, he doesn't have slow vaulting speed. He has the lasso. You definitely wanted to just sit there and decode. I'm going to say hound. I'm going to go for hound. I think that's hound gameplay. Okay, you are in Elk. All right, once again, I'm one off. I guess a little bit below, but I was also... That was also because of the Hunter. Lily just wasn't blinking. She could have blinked down you so much earlier. If she blinked down you and then put you in the chair, uh, you wouldn't have had borrowed time. Like, she didn't know that, but she could have, you know, at least downed you after the Cypher was popped. I don't know why she didn't use her blink at all. I would have used that blink so long ago, dude. I'm not really sure what was up with that, but either way, GG. Next up, we are going to be watching uh, RP not Yuki, question mark, question mark. <laughs> Uh, going up against Geisha here with Perfumer, Enchantress, and Entomologist on the team as well. You'll love to see it, dude. Ento does have Tide. Uh, interesting. Oh, and you're taking the kite right from the very start. All right. Let's see if you can meme on this Geisha here. Already goes for the hit through the pallet. Oh, careful. Are you going to take a hit here? What? Okay, that's a Geisha hitbox moment. That is also a Geisha hitbox moment. What the heck? You are juking her so well. What the heck? Oh. Oh, did you? Oh, you just used Owl. Okay, that, that was Owl. That was Owl. So she does get a little bit of presence from that. Does have teleport to work with. So far, so good. Use up your Owl, but you're starting to farm another one. Okay, she is swinging like a madman. She wants you down. All right, finally gets her first hit. Cross over the palace. She hasn't been using any of the butterflies, though. I haven't seen her drop a single butterfly. What the... Oh, she must have just right there. Yeah, she did right there. I was about to say, how'd you get over across that fast? You freaking blink, but no, it's just butterfly. Nice pallet stun. Nice. Yeah, wait in the area. Just kind of farm out a little bit. Yeah, she's, she's using butterfly just to cross over to the pallets. Basically using it like a blink. Now, let's see. Will you be able to farm an owl here? I feel like you can. I feel like there's definitely a chance. I feel like it's pretty tough to... Oh. Aw, oh, goes down. I didn't know if you had flower or anything. I would say I feel like there's um actually not I think I don't I don't think I saw any uh knee jerk reflex speed boost. <gasps> Melly's bees! Yo! Geisha. 
Oh, does she pull them back? Okay, she does not pull them back. What you want to do there is, Melly, uh, is you want to pull back the bees once they're about to go for the second hit. That way you don't lose all your bees. Um, because they're gonna go for that second. Usually, I usually want them to hit them one time, and then I pull them back. Uh, I don't know why I'm just giving advice to the Melly. <laughs> Um, this is a really cool seer skin. I actually got the seer skin myself as well. Here comes Melly. Yo, Melly, let's go. Yo, you love to see Melly, dude. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, you can't. What? Okay, I, I didn't know that. You can actually farm up owls while the tide effect is uh, a thing. Wow, I, I think you actually use owls while, ti while tide is a thing. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, the thing is, uh, the thing about Geisha uh, that's kind of like interesting with seer is that you want to look at Geisha. Right, you want to look at Geisha to stop her butterflies, but at the same time, when you're looking at her, you can also farm owls. So, yeah, I feel like Seer is um, I feel I feel like Seer is really good against Geisha. I mean, Seer's just really good in general, right? He's he's one of the best survivors in the game. Definitely, definitely like top five, right? He's like top five easy. Um, and yeah, so far this is this is just this is just yeah, she is just getting Cypher rush. She doesn't even know who you are. Oh my gosh. Oh, unfortunately, is the Cypher ready yet? I don't think it's ready yet. No, not ready yet. But you have an owl. You have an owl for endgame. That's smart that you didn't use your owl. The owl, you definitely want to use it for endgame, so you got saved before half. Um, yeah, you definitely just wanna you wanna save that owl for endgame. Very smart. Geisha gets aggressive. Wow. Okay, she actually gets aggressive. Very interesting. I guess she really didn't want that cipher to pop. Very interesting. Yo! What are you doing? Rescue! <laughs> I don't know why it took him so long. What the heck? Uh, dungeon is here. Okay, gonna get healed up. I guess that's fine. Yeah, I mean, you, you are dead on chairs, so she decides to come back over here. Uh, you definitely want to get healed up, but it would also be really solid right now to go and help out your teammates at the same time. But yeah, I, I would also probably get healed here just, just for the extra safety of it all. Uh, even though Geisha will most likely bring the attention, so if she, she downs you with the attention, you are definitely dead on chair. Uh, I'm not sure what you're going for. I think you're probably just gonna go work on a different cipher. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably safest for you to just go work on a, a different cipher. Uh, sometimes that's what you want to do. Sometimes if it, there's too much pressure on the cipher that they're trying to prime, just open up a new cipher. And never mind, that was the one that was primed right there. Okay. Uh, well, Enchantress has a lot of stuns. Oh, uses a big stun right there. I think you should just be able to escape here. You have Owl. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, Perfume is already at the exit gate. The opposite exit gate. So you should just be able to open this. And if Geisha comes by, you just use Owl. Nope, looks like she's going to chair the Enchantress. You're going back for the enchant? No, don't go back for the enchant. You have owl, but like, no, there's no point. Don't, don't go back. Are you really gonna go for it? Wait, that's right. You might have tied. Hold on. You might have tied because the thing is, I didn't notice you use fly. I didn't think you had knee jerk reflex. So you might have tied. Wait a minute. You can use owl to protect yourself. Get the rescue with tide, then it's free. Then you just leave. Oh my gosh, that's what's gonna happen, isn't it? Owl. Yep. Owl. Rescue. Tied and you can escape. Yo, the late game tide. No, that's it. That's free. Geisha should just give up. There's nothing. That yeah, there's no point. Even if she gets the hit, there's nothing that she, she can't do anything. You have 20 seconds to work with. That's it. The late game tied seer owl, bro. I would be so mad. I would be so mad. Oh my gosh. I would actually be so mad. Oh, oh no. Uh, I would be so mad if I was that Geisha. Oh, that hurt to watch. But it was also a really good play. Yeah, you did well. You did well. Saving that owl for a very crucial moment for the four escape for maximum points. That was a very big brain play. Although I feel like the Geisha could have pressured a little bit harder. She was missing a lot of her hitboxes, which, you know, kind of is a Geisha moment. But I feel like she could have done a little bit better uh, with the hitboxes and tracking you. So I'm, I'm going to say Mammoth. I'm going to say you're in Mammoth. Let's see. And you are in Mammoth. Let's go, dude. Oh my gosh. Two for six i think not bad that's not bad dude next up we are going to be watching t t v t t uh, t -V. I th i'm not sure how to pronounce their name uh but they're playing toy merchant here going up against clerk lordly moo is a very interesting name <laughs> uh but gardener acrobat and painter are on the team as well so this this is a a bit of a niche team you could say a bit of a niche team painter is um He's there. Gardener is, is there. Toy Merchant's good support, and Acrobat is a good kiter. So let's see. Clerk. Oh, sets up the catapult already. Okay, that's uh, that's a okay spot for a catapult. I mean, if you're if you're decoding, a lot of people will just set up a catapult. The sticker, yo, the sticker. You're crazy. <laughs> All right, I skipped ahead a bit. So Gardener has been downed, but two ciphers have been completed. Are you gonna pick it up? Yeah, pick pick that up. Pick that up. Very smart. Pick it up. Uh, the thing is, you you are on hospital, and Toy Merchant is. 
very, very good on this map. There are many good places uh, for catapults, but it doesn't look like they're going to set up anything. Uh, usually what I see toy merchants do is they'll usually set up catapults, uh, maybe just one at least, in a really good spot for hospital. Like, there, there is one spot that I see like right now you could do it at. Uh, it's a really, really good spot. And with Toy Merchant's new buff, you can actually see where the catapult will send you, so it's a lot easier to aim them. Now, it looks like Acrobat went for the rescue, rescues the gardener. Uh, you finish another cypher. Now, let's see what happens next here. Are you going to go in to help and support your teammates, or are you going to focus on decoding? Probably best to focus on decoding for now. Uh, actually, there's only one more cypher left, so Painter might be working on that cypher. Never mind, I skipped a bit ahead again, and it looks like you guys are working on the last cypher in the shack. Acrobat has been down, but she wants the gardener. And pop. Oh my gosh! That has to be one of the most beautiful pops I think I've ever seen. She, oh my, now Clink, now cl Clink, Clerk has, has nothing to work with for Endgame. What? She blinked and you just went, pop. I don't know if that was, was that luck? I feel like that could have been luck. But I think the thing is you might have wanted to pop so that you could uh, get the Acrobat back up. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that was just a really good pop. Oh, but she's watching the exit gate. Yep. Now you can't open it for 10 more seconds. However, you still have all four of your teammates left. Oh, well, okay. She's she trying to have to teleport, but it's not going to help her because she just used up that blink. The thing is, I've done that too, where I just go for like a blink when I probably shouldn't because I'm just so sick and tired. I just want to get the freaking, uh, I just want to get the person down. Here comes Clerk. She's going to have the tension. She's going to have some stuff to work with here. I don't know why. You're, okay, you're just waiting here. You got the catapult. Big glide. And they're gonna go back into shack. They go back into shack. No pallet to work with though. Oh, careful, she might have some recordings. Nope, has no window recording. Okay. Now you're, you're gonna take the end game uh, chase here, but careful about the pallet spam. I guess that doesn't matter. I guess I guess she just doesn't have any recordings. Uh, the best thing to do here is probably just uh, find dungeon or, okay, I think I can see what you might be doing. No, huh? No, hold on. You know what you could do? Well, you just go up here and then you can just fly to the exit gate. There's actually a really good spot for Toy Merchant. All I have to do is just fly. You can literally just fly to the exit gate from here. I think that's what you might be doing. Let's see. Will you just fly to the exit gate from here? That's literally what you can do. The Toy Merchant's so broke on this map. Not going to fly to exit gate? No, you, you go out this door, I think, and then you just fly to the exit gate, right? Yeah. Boop. And then you just fly to, yeah, you just fly to the exit gate. That's why Toy Merchant is so dumb on this map, dude. Look at this. She's so stupid. This character is so dumb. Oh, teleports? But misses? I think she probably would have hit you in, in anyway. Oh, but her, the angle she was... Oh, I think it's the angle that she wanted to hit you at. Yeah, she missed because she wanted to hit you at a sideways angle so you, she wouldn't hit you into the exit gate. Oh, my gosh. Her teleport must have just been running. You barely made that. That was clutch. That was clutch. I mean, if you weren't Toy Merchant, you probably weren't making that. But, you know, <laughs> that was pretty clutch. And it was a bit hard to judge your gameplay since it was basically just decoding but that was a clutch ending regardless i always do like seeing some clutch escapes so yeah i think i'm gonna play it safe i'm just gonna say elk and you are in mammoth okay i've only been one off so far like if i haven't got it right i've only been one off i haven't been two tiers off so far which i'm really happy to say next up we are watching journalist here uh ja ma ma mom <laughs> very interesting name here going up against the fool's gold uh with peeper bit of an interesting uh Interesting thing here. I don't really see Fool's Gold bring peepers too often. I mean, sometimes. I guess. I guess it's fine. But let's see what. Uh, let's see what you can cook up here. So far, just kind of looping around this area. Hasn't thrown the pickaxe at all. I would have liked to see him throw the pickaxe. Uh, what the heck? Yo, what's he doing? What's this bot gameplay? Yo, yo, this is actually like bot gameplay. Throw the, throw the axe. Throw it. Yeah. Then you make unstable ground. Oh, he threw it off the ground. Um. No, what you you just throw what you should do here if your fool's gold you throw the axe at the wall that has the window on it and then you stop her from looping at least this specific area. Uh, yeah, so far not so, hasn't even dropped a peeper yet either. What? Okay, I I don't know what this fool's gold is planning. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, another window to work with here. This is a really good kiting area. Very very good kiting area. Uh, also has barmaid composer and perfumer on the team. So so far. Uh, they are getting cypher rushed a little bit. Already a single set, ci two cyphers done so far. And yep, he's still chasing you. I, does, has he thrown the pickaxe like more than one time? Is he? Oh, he's gonna. You're gonna pallet slam. No, I'm gonna cry. Don't pallet slam. I'm gonna cry if you do. No. He actually. Oh, thank God. I was gonna say he that did not hit him, bro. <laughs> a bit late on the pallet slam there. But yeah. Um. 
Yeah, I mean, the Fool's Goal is not really doing too much. Oh, nice. Nice work of Orpheus there. Kind of body blocking a little bit. Oh, sets up the rock, but doesn't throw the axe. Oh, gets yeah, gets the hit before you drop the pallet. Ooh, you still feel pretty slowly, too. I wonder if he has it on his Persona web. Okay, well, um... I mean, he kind of redeemed himself there. What? Okay, I don't know what... what? Alright, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> uh, let's see. Will he camp this, uh... This area? I don't know. It looks like, yeah, he's just gonna camp it. Uh, in comes the Perfumer for the rescue. Makes sense. He's a good rescuer. Oh, just, yeah, he just throws it out. Boop, and... Oh, she can't use Euphoria in time. Unfortunate there. Oh, no, she can. What? Okay, I thought she couldn't use it in time. Never mind. All right, well, that's good. Yeah, that was a really good rescue from the Perfumer. And she's still here to support you with some body blocks as well. Composers nearby decoding. Sets up Orpheus. Yeah, this is a really good spot for Orpheus, too. Uh, dropping Orpheus out of the God Palette. Did he drop it? I can't tell if he dropped it. I think he must have dropped it. Oh, yeah, he dropped it. He Yeah, he dropped it. It's either that or he hit uh, Orpheus and then... I think if he, if he hit Orpheus, he would have got a nice speed boost. So yeah, it was either that or Perfumer, but like, I'm pretty sure it was Orpheus. And the Perfumer is just body blocking you, dude. This is this is the kind of stuff that I hate when I play Hunter, is when there's like a really good character that can do body blocks, like Perfumer, Doctor, and they're just continuously doing it over and over. Like, man, is that annoying. But yeah, that's the thing is like, all she wants to do is body block for you so that you just don't die. Well, not so much anymore. Honestly, I would still keep body blocking if I was a Perfumer. Like, if I go down, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't even matter. Because the thing is, you could also... You could also just use the Orpheus Rescue. Which is the only one you have left, it looks like. You used up, used up all your little Orpheus there. Um, I would have liked to see you move away from the Composer's Cypher. Because now... Now you're kiting near his Cypher. Yeah, so try to try to get away from the, the Cypher that is being... Uh, trying to be primed. That's, the, that's definitely what you want to do when you're kiting. Is move away uh, from the Prime Cypher. And... This this fool's gold has not used a single peeper. Has he dropped a single peeper? I don't think he has. Why bring peeper if you're not going to use them at all? Like, th this is when you want to have like a blink or teleport. Uh, maybe even I guess yeah. I don't really want excitement because none of these characters really harass. Besides palette stuns. No, you you definitely want blink. This is this is what you want blink for. If you see if you see, like, unless you're going to actually drop the peepers, which he's not doing. He's not even dropping like the peepers don't just expose you but they slow you down i am uh i'm crying at this gameplay a little bit i won't even lie uh <laughs> the cypher should be primed honestly i would just go down yeah it's primed thing is thing is what i do honestly when i know the cypher's primed i just take a hit i go to a good kiting area and then i take a hit thing is you're in a decent kiting area just take the hit drop a pallet or something and then go down like that's that's definitely that's definitely what you want to do so don't, don't do that yet. Finally downs pops, pop. I so say you better pop now, jeez. <laughs> Look at they have crows on them, it took so long. Uh, I don't, you don't want to head for the exit gate right now. Cause everybody's headed for the exit gate. Uh, Perfect is probably just gonna use the gun. Oh, yes, the terror shock, but please tell me the perfume uses the gun, please. I am begging you, please tell me she, oh, please, please, please. I want to see perfume your gun moment. Oh, the gun. Oh man. If I'm the if I'm the perfumer, I am I am so mad right now. I am so mad if I'm the perfumer. He should be able to get out here. Oh. Oh. Can you? He's only going for you. Look, they're all oh, waiting. They're freaking gatewaiters, Royce. Or wait a minute. I thought. Wait. Wait a minute. I thought flare gun. You couldn't get flare guns from a chest in rank. Is this a quick match? Did I just get memed? Hold on, you're not supposed to submit quick match. Am I, am, I, am I right about that? Can you not get... How'd the perfumer get a gun? If this is a rank match. I'm pretty sure you can't get guns if you're in rank. Oh, can you escape? Ah, oh, I guess Terra Shock. Yo, guys, just get out of here, bro. Come on. Get out. You could have given her access to dungeon if you left. Oh, my gosh. I feel bad for this freaking fool's gold they, what are these gatewaiters doing get out oh my gosh dude get out please why are they just watching it happen i mean i guess they're maybe gonna try and save you if they're not gonna try and save, what, they didn't even try to save. what the heck what was that just leave oh my gosh man that hurts to watch hmm let's see here it is impossible for survivors to obtain a flare gun from chess on ranked games that wasn't a ranked game that was a quick match you're in Hound 2 rank. 
Well, you know what you also are? You are disqualified. Even though I already watched your match. That disqualifies it. You've been outed because I know that you can't get a flare gun and a rank match. That was a quick match. I didn't even guess that last game because it wasn't even a rank match, so I didn't even feel like it was fitting. Anyway, we're going to be watching Akira here. Or, I'm sorry, Akira Akira. <laughs> That's literally what their name says. The Japanese here, Ghana says Akira, and then it's Akira in English. Uh, but going up against the Joseph here, didn't even bother hiding, which is a bit of an interesting choice, but goes into the mirror world. Pretty smart, so you don't get uh, freaking terror shocked or whatever. Uh, we also have female dancer, Doctor, and little girl. Doctor is pretty good uh, going up against Joseph. I do love your little butterfly pet here. Oh, what? Okay, interesting decision there. I guess, uh... Uh, yeah, now he's nearby. Oh, it's because of the little girl, though. <laughs> yeah, gets a hit onto the little girl. Why is it? Oh, sorry. Uh, hey, whatever. <laughs> Downs the little girl, too. Holy moly. Little girl could not escape. All right. Uh, I would have just stayed there and decode. I'm not really sure what your plan is here. I guess maybe you wanted to... Actually, you know what? You probably wanted to transition away from your mirror image. But I guess, no, you, le you left before Joseph even got close by, so... Yeah, if, if, if Joseph is nearby your mirror image, what I usually do is I just run to the opposite side of the map or near a teammate... And if he, if he chairs me, I can just get healed, right? I don't really bother saving myself in the mirror world. I just, I'll just rather get healed, right? Because the thing is, he's already lowering the Cypher Rush. If I'm going to get downed, I just run to the opposite side of the map so it takes him forever to walk over. Like, I just don't want him to find me, and I can just get healed. So he, he, he trapped the little girl into the basement. Um, but so far, everybody, or I guess almost everybody, is just focused on decoding. I'm not really sure what the doctor here is doing. Um, I guess, yeah, doctor, doctor's feeding tinnitus. Um... Yeah, I, uh, uh, okay, first, don't miss your calibrations there, pal. Uh, Doc also decided to go in for the rescue the second it was after half. I guess maybe, I guess Joseph also left the, the area where he was guarding it. I don't know, man. Oh, he didn't finish the cypher. He didn't, he didn't finish it. You should finish the cypher. You're about to finish the cypher. Okay, well, now Joseph's here. Um, yeah, two cyphers left, but JoJo's here. Magnet? Magnet, magnet. Oh, okay. The little girl just warps in and gets hit. Uh, careful. You take it. Oh my gosh. You'll get out of there. Get out of there. What are you doing? Come on, get out. Get, come on. The, there's a beautiful kiting error right there. Come on. Little girl's also here, though. What? What? He should have hit you. I'm sorry. He, you you should have got hit there. I don't know what happened. You should have got hit there. Are you not going to use your magnets? Blinks? Magnet? Yeah, I hate that, dude. I, it's happened to me before. I hate that so much. Missing blink because of a freaking magnet. That's so annoying. Oh, it's so annoying, man. Well, you finally did use the magnet there. That was a really good magnet. Onto the blink. The speed boost from Nidric Reflex. I could have just gone around. It needed to fault two different times. Yeah, Jojo's already here. Oh, Jojo. He can't get you. Is he going to warp back? Let's see. I think he just walked. It doesn't even warp back at all. Another magnet. Okay, got some good distance there. Oh. Jojo, he's coming. The chart attack miss. And yep, down you go. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know why you forced yourself out into the open area. I guess little girl was kind of in the kiting area too, but you're in a really, really good kiting area. You could have just looped Jojo for ages because Jojo sucks. Uh, <laughs> his chase is so bad because he's just a basic hit hunter. All he has is the warp back. Um, so yeah, I mean, transitioning out of the good kiting area, I'm not really sure it was up with that. But otherwise, this game should probably be a tie. In comes Female Dancer for the rescue. Okay. Also has tie, which is interesting. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the little girl. All right, Cypher's not quite primed yet. It's going to be a little difficult to uh, prime that Cypher because once it's like nearly full completion, uh, the, the Mirror World progress is going to make it go down. See, I don't know why JoJo just didn't camp the chair. The whole thing is like JoJo likes camping the chair. Uh, female Dancer also saved you in the, uh, in the camera world, which is really good. Alright, two, two, two Cyphers are being primed here. That's pretty good. Oh, they just popped. Oh, they just popped. Okay. Yeah, little girl just popped before the, the freaking camera world ends. Honestly, that's fine. Jojo, I think, I think Jojo saw you. you the thing is, you want to stay in this area. Stay in this area. Don't leave. This is such a good kind of area. Do not leave this area. Okay. Nice. Get the boost. Um... Don't leave the area, please. And you're going... Why are you leaving this area? This area is such a good area. What? I'm so confused. I don't know why you're leaving that area. That's like one of my favorite kiting areas in the entire game. And down you go. 
Yeah, I would I would have really liked to see you stay in that area. You could have definitely extended that kite for probably a lot longer. But it looks like little girl and female dancer are going to be able to get out. So this was indeed a tie. Yep, that is a tie. Okay, well, some questionable decisions, but you know, you ended up getting a tie. It wasn't too bad, had some pretty good magnets. Using the magnet on the blink was really good. I don't know how intentional it was, but that was still some pretty good gameplay. Definitely would have liked to see you stay around those kiting areas more. You kind of transitioned out in the open, which killed you. So I'm gonna say hound, let's see. Oh, and you are in hound, yo. I've still got a one out of three prediction rate. That's honestly not that bad. Next, we are going to be watching Toxic Grace Main, a uh, bit of an interesting name there, playing the Feaster here. Uh, this is a very cool skin for the Feaster. I've never seen this skin before. It actually looks so cool. Look at the look at the thing on the back. What the heck? Okay, base the Pallet Slam. Going up against Batter here first. There's also Psychologist, Priestess, and Barmaid on the team as well. The thing about the Feaster is you want to be closer to. Oh, can you get this? Oh, dodges the tentacle hit. Gets the basic hit though. That's good. That's good. That, that, that's a really good spot for the uh, the tentacle too. Kind of just by luck, but that was a really good spot for the tentacle as well. That way he couldn't play around the window too much. Goes to the Priestess Portal. Will he go out the God Pallet? Ooh. Yeah, the thing is that God Pallet is... I would have rather seen him use that God Pallet to transition into the hospital. Um, yeah, using it to leave hospital is not nearly as good, but I guess it did extend the kite a little bit. Um, I guess, you know, maybe it was also a pretty decent spot because you could have put a tentacle behind it. So yeah, maybe, maybe that's why he did it. Uh, but so far, Bata's doing a, doing a decent kite here. Not doing too bad. Um, we put a tentacle out the window. Nope. Tentacles. Oh. What? Okay, yo, the priestess support. Wait. Yo, yo, the priestess is actually insane. I didn't. How did. Okay. Well, I guess, yeah, no. Maybe not insane, but like, that was. That was some good support. That was some good freaking support, dude. I don't think I've ever seen that play. I mean, it's kind of obvious because, like, you can see it clearly, but wow, that was actually just a good play. I have to give it up. The Priestess, that was that was good. Can't just yet hit the tentacle? Nope. Cannot get there with the tentacle, yeah. Honestly, she didn't even try to circle around it. That was just her uh, her speed boost from Nidric Reflex. Yeah, so, so far, the, the Priestess is actually doing really, really well. Two portals. Two portals supported the batter, and wow. I'm actually crying, dude. This is This is such a Hunter main moment. This is actually such a hunter main one. Does it, don't, don't, even, don't even have blink. Has teleport instead. Bit of an interesting uh, decision there, especially since you haven't used your trait at all. Yeah, she's gonna play around these portals. Um, might be able to get the down right here. She has nothing else to work with, and boom, charge attack down she goes. Uh, yeah. Well, that was um, that was a pretty decent start. Oh. Oh oh oh. Somebody's nearby. Oh, you might, are you scared of it? Uh, yeah, you're probably scared if it's the batter. You don't want to get harassed. Whoa, that looks cool. The snakes, bro? That was actually so cool. What the heck? All right. All right, it is, it is psychologist in the area. Uh, do not get with the tentacle. Yeah, she goes, she comes for the early rescue. That's good. That's what you want to do against Feature so he can't set up tentacles. One of, the, one of the characters that you actually want to rescue early against is indeed uh, Feaster because his camping is very, very solid. Um, but now psychologist is here for the body block. But you get the tentacle hit. Very nice. Ooh, and the basic hit on the psychologist too. Very good. Dude, Feaster looks so cool when he gets the hit. He's like, he just pops off. He just, his tentacles go everywhere, dude. All right. Priestess hides over here. Cypher machine. Okay. I don't, you know, the thing is, I'm wondering why is the Cypher progress so bad, right? They should definitely have, um, like, only two ciphers left. They must have been transitioning and, like, switching ciphers a lot. But Accelerated Decoding is now here. Priestess is on her last chair, or second last chair here. Batter's coming in. Batter does not have Tidy. He has Flywheel. Nice. Yeah, you're just, you're just sitting behind the tree. Just sitting behind the tree. The thing is, once you, go, once you get a tentacle hit, you can just down him. Will this camping work out? He wants to get a hit on you. I know that's what he wants to do. Flywheels? Oh, 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 oh. The chair hit? Oh my gosh, dude! That was there was like there was like eight different mind games happening right there. Oh my gosh! All right, Priestess has two portals to work with here. The tentacle goes down to the tentacle. Yep. Oh, that's so good that you got that. Wait! Oh! Oh, misses it. Oh my gosh! All right, that that's such a game changer. That 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 genuinely changed the game so much. That that little that five seconds like right there when you hit the tentacle. And then the batter came into support, misses misses the support, and then he just down him for it. That that play meant meant so much. The thing is, if he hit the ball, 
the priestess would have fallen and he maybe got could have got a body block and then she could have escaped with portals but it, it turned out to be like in your best favor now will the camping work in your favor here let's see oh okay i don't know i don't know what just happened there um come on can you get this camp oh oh that's it yep that's it now if you set up set up another tentacle Set up another tentacle. Oh, oh my gosh! The tentacles are everywhere, bro. Oh my gosh! They can't do anything. They can't. They can't rescue. They can't rescue. Oh my! Ah! Barmaid, you can't do anything. Nope, that's it. That, that, that. Oh my gosh! That ending. That ending meant so much. That was such a game changer, man. If Priestess like used a portal instead of going across that pallet, getting hit by the tentacle, or at least she tried to like circle around. Oh my gosh, man. That 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 ending just snowballed. It snowballed so hard with the tentacles like everywhere, dude. It, it was a pretty rough start. I won't lie. It was a pretty rough start. But you you came back and absolutely destroyed. I'm going to say Saber Tooth Tiger. That was pretty good. And you're in Saber Tooth, bro. Let's go. I'm 4 for 10. We're crazy out here. Next we are going to be watching X Tracy Resnick, which is not mechanic, but it's Jojo. <laughs> But interesting. Yeah, so sets up the camera road immediately going down into it. Um, this is also a three minute game. So this is going to be very, very fast. Uh, we have Embalmer, First Officer, Mind's Eye, and Painter. Bit interesting. Mind's Eye is a very, very fast decoder, but uh, JoJo kind of stops that. Ooh, okay. Hits onto the First Officer. Very interesting. Down he goes. Uh, yep. Here we go. And oh, oh! Almost terror shocked them, dude. They barely had enough time to react. Holy moly. Yo? It's so spooky playing in this pallet. Playing... Okay, they're doing really well playing the pallet, but boop! Down he goes. And Bomber will use the coffin. Don't use the coffin. Yeah, pick him up. Pick him up, force him to use that coffin. Force him to use that freaking coffin. Alright, chairs over here. Oh, chairs are right next to his coffin. <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny. That's funny. First officer, will he go for the rescue? Probably not. Goes for Tide. Oh, gets a hit on him. No, go rescue, go rescue. What do you do? Go rescue, you have Tide. Come on. No, he should have just gone for it. If he, the thing is, when First Officer gets hit while I use the watch, he has five seconds of Tide. If you rescue after that, he has Tide, like regular Tide Turner. He would have had 20 seconds of Tide, so he'd have a lot, a, a lot of Tide to work with. And now two people are stuck on the chair. And now you're flexing on him with the card. Oh my gosh, the JoJo is going crazy, dude. Oh, and here comes Painter. Here he comes. Can he get the terror shock? Let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on. No, no terror shock. Gonna get the rescue. And bonk downs the painter. All right, off goes the embalmer. But you know where the you know where the coffin is. He wants. He runs back. The blink. No. Why did he run back? Why? Why did you do that? There's no point in running. Back. Oh no, man. Okay. Yeah. And you know the embalmer's already dead on chair, so you're gonna chair the painter first because his chair time is like annoying and passive and now the mind's eye is forced to come in if she wants anything to happen and here she comes mind's eyes coming in but jojo oh picks him up and then oh and then he can just easily destroy mind's eye just go for one hit boop and the terror shot bro 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 Wait, why could oh and Bomber couldn't even use his coffin because he's on his last chair? Oh no man. You swept. You swept with JoJo. Bro. This was this was definitely a game. This was definitely a game. Wow. You actually just swept. The thing was, I think it all mattered at the first officer. If he just got the rescue on the embalmer with the tide, it, it would have been so much better. But he just for some reason decided not to. I didn't see too much uh, excellent plays from the survivor, so I'm just gonna say Crocodile. Let's go. Ah, uh, it's Cobra. Gosh dang it, man. Oh, I was hoping to get another win. That's okay. Again, I'm continuing my streak of only being one off or on the nose, so that's good. Next up, we are going to be watching Starry Flow, or Starry Moon Flow, also uh, Starry Flow Moon here, uh, playing Clerk. Very interesting to see some Clerk gaming. Going up against Psychologist, Mercenary, Embalmer, and Prisoner here. Pretty solid team. Pretty solid team. Uh, trying to get a recording onto the... Who is this? Embalmer? Oh, he is trapped. 
Ooh, I don't think he should have got hit by that if he just turned the corner a little bit more. Ooh, yeah, starts recording the prisoner, okay. I think it's only at uh, her first presence that she unlocks the ability to freeze people off of ciphers and whatnot. And they can't interact with ciphers um, after after the first presence skill, if, if she records them. I'm pretty sure that's how Clerk works. Again, I've played Clerk twice, and she has a lot of complexities. Doesn't get a hit on the chart attack, but no recording from Embalmer either. Downs the Embalmer, though. Will he use Coffin? Um, yeah, probably use Coffin after the chair. Yep, now, now you're going to lock a... I actually don't know who that was. I, I couldn't tell. It was so fast. Uh, lock somebody out of uh, decoding. So yeah, that's a, that's a pretty fast down, but it is the Embalmer here. Has the coffin set up. You know where it is, so you know exactly back where to go. It's going to be in the shack area. Um, yeah, locks, locks. He's just locking the prisoner. That makes sense. Yeah, lock the lock the uh, the decoder out of decoding. Very smart. Very, very smart. Okay, yeah. Now, now the Embalmer's back over here. Has a little bubble to work with, but it's not going to last too long. And boop. Yeah, he's got the little tide effect. Yeah, it's gonna go down again. Yep, run, just run, running, running to get some distance. That's good. Locks the prisoner out again. Oh my gosh, dude! They can't even, they, they can't even finish a single cipher. Yo, they can't even finish a single cipher. I would have thought they finished at least one by now, because they have the prisoner, right? He is, he is long distance decoding, right? I don't even, I don't know, man. Um. Oh. Okay, I don't know what recording that was. Something happened there. Uh, let's see. So it looks like, yeah, Mercenary's coming in for the rescue. Prisoner. I guess they're recording on the prisoner. Okay. Mercenary's on his way. Use up a double pad. Honestly, not necessary. Well, eh. Okay, in hindsight, not necessary. Um, but yeah, it makes sense that you... Oh my gosh, that was such a good blink. Yeah, and she's already found up Max Presence, so what, what Embalmer wants to do is just run away. Just run away uh, as far away from any other chair as possible. Um, if the basement was there, honestly, I'd just go into the corner of the basement. Yeah, just gonna, just gonna hide right here. Yep. Yeah. Not much. Not much that they can do. Bomber's dead. All right. That's a, that's a pretty pretty early down. Um. Still three ciphers left, and you're locking them out of decoding here and there. Yeah. This has been good. This has been good so far. Uh. Let's see. Your next target is probably gonna be the prisoner. Uh. Yeah. Just you just keep locking people out of decoding. That's so good. That's what Clerk does. She extends the game. People thought. I remember when people thought this character was top tier. Uh, I remember seeing tier lists. People thought this character was top tier. I think a lot of people consider her as like a high tier now. But the thing is, she's just really hard to play. Uh, not like Dream Witch levels, but like you really need a big brain to play this character. I feel like because um, if you just if you don't know how to use her abilities, you don't know how to do the recordings well enough. It's it's gonna be rough. And it feels like whenever I fight Clerk, she always has the right recording that she needs to go up against me. Yeah, Mercenary was just buying time here. Um, what? But why? I mean, I guess he wants to be the next chase target? Why? Why would you use up both elbow pads there? I mean, I guess he wants to transit. Oh, he probably just wants to transition to hospital. Yeah, the thing is, now he has no... Uh, he, has, he has nothing. He, just, he has nothing to work with now. Uh, yeah, it really it really depends on this mercenary's kite if they can if they can do something here. Because the thing is, when Clerk elim eliminates somebody early, it's just going to make leaving the game so much harder. Oh, okay. Going to change targets here? Yeah, she, she lost track of the, uh, the mercenary for like a solid 30 seconds. Um, but now, yeah, they're just hiding. So call it all this. They see the trail now. They see the trail. Probably should have, probably should have uh, not ran. But if they wanted to hide, oh, yeah, they're gonna take a free hit there. Yeah. Thing is, you if you're gonna hide, you wanna you want to uh, tiptoe, or you want to walk. You don't want to run. When you run, you leave a trail. When you walk, you don't. Um, what is she doing? Why? She transitioned to you twice, basically. Okay, this psychologist is actually throwing. They literally transitioned to you two different times. I don't know what their plan is. Like, if you've already been found out. You have to kite now. You can't hide. You have to kite now. <laughs> That's kind of what you have to do. Um, but blink is a thing. Well, you, you're probably not going to blink. Yeah, I'm going to say blink for endgame. Wow, uh, never mind. Just blinks. You know what? I think I see why. You blink, and then you just trump card to, or trump card teleport, right? You do it now. Right? Thing is, if you do it now, you, you get extra cooldown time. I would just do it now. If, I, if I'm you, I'm just do it now. I just, I just swap to teleport now. For endgame. Right? Right? I mean, I mean, I guess like you, I don't know. I would swap the teleport because you have trump card. I would just swap the teleport now. Uh, Mer Merc's got a perfume. Ooh. Oh, wait, but Psy you didn't. Oh, but Psychologist had a little bit of stress so she doesn't go down. Yeah, that's the, that's the annoying thing about Psychologist is when you down her while well, she still has stress, she can rebound. Oh, uh, that's annoying. I, I, a lot of time I'll just wait. Yeah, they can't even prime the cypher. 
That's what Clerk's good at, dude. She they don't let they don't let you uh prod the cipher. Ooh, doesn't get the hit though. Yeah, see the thing, this this all could have been solved if you just like waited like an extra second before hitting her. <laughs> because now this rebound is lasting so long, all because of the the stress. And uh boop, down she goes. Okay, that rebound lasted like 20 seconds, but you you were gonna I like that. You you made sure to lock the cipher so they can't prime it. Oh, okay, even the persona too. And then then you uh hit the psychologist. That way they couldn't pop the cipher. That's so good. That is some big brain clerk gaming. Chairs on the last chair of basement. Mercenary is forced to come down. Um. Um. What? What was that pop? I guess they didn't. I mean, I guess the prisoner was. Wait, you didn't pop that. Did, did you pop that? Wait, wait, wait. I actually, I don't know if the clerk popped that. I don't think. Uh, did you? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you popped it. Maybe that's why that pop was so trash. <laughs> oh my gosh! The block's off the window! The clerk gaming! Oh my gosh, the clerk gaming! No, the clerk gaming is too good. Oh my gosh, the clerk gaming is too good. Yo. The clerk gaming is too good. Oh, one last swing for the road. Bro. Oh my gosh, yeah, when, when you're playing up against a clerk, don't when you when you have the cipher primed, leave it at like 95%. Don't put it at 99. Leave it at like 95 so you can't prime the cipher or pop the cipher. So yeah, really awesome clerk gameplay. Very very big brain. Uh, survivors seem to know what they were doing. I don't know what the psychologist was doing actually, but the merc was you know he was pretty smart. He, he pretty he was pretty smart knowing what he was doing. I'm gonna go for Manticore. Ah, uh, you're in Sabretooth. X Manticore. Okay, I was gonna say that seemed like some Manticore gameplay. I see. I see. Well, I hope to see you back up at Manticore eventually because that was some pretty awesome clerk gaming, I must say. Next up, we are watching Sil Silistar playing Sculptor here. Hopefully they can do what I could not, and that is be good at Sculptor. <laughs> Going up against, oh, yo, Melly, what you, Melly, Melly! What is, Melly, no! Why did she leave her bees out just for you to beat up? What the heck? Oh gosh. Yeah, but going up against uh, Enchantress, Cheerleader, Mind's Eye, Entomologist. Um, yeah, I, I, I pray for you when you have to chase Enchantress. I hope you don't chase Enchantress first. Is that Mind's Eye? Oh. It is. Yo, you found Mind's Eye. Let's go. That's so good. You definitely want to chase Mind's Eye first. Thing is, Enchantress is like okay at rescuing, but like, oh. And you have that accessory that makes it so hard to freaking see. Okay. This is actually, yeah, this accessory, dude, is actually so OP because it's so freaking hard to tell what goes on, especially when Sculptor is at max presence and she just has tons and tons of statues to spam. This accessory is like, it's so bright and flary and like affecty. It's so flashy that you just can't see anything that's happening. It's, it's such a good accessory. Okay, gonna use the little thing on that Cypher there probably. Yep, chase him off the Cypher. Where are they, where are they? Did you, oh, I think you might've overshot a little bit. Yeah, I think you overshot a little bit, okay. Happens happens to me too. I, I I find the aim with that a little bit tricky to use, uh, but it looks like Enchantress is indeed coming in for the rescue. I would just hit her. If I if I'm if I'm like playing, I'm just gonna hit her. Uh, but yeah, once you statues to hit instead, prevent the rescue. Oh, prevents the rescue for half at least. That's good. That is good. That statue should have hit. <laughs> yeah, just just hits the Enchantress. Um, so now she has a stun to work with. Uses it right there. But Mind's Eye is a fool. Mind's Eye is a I don't. I do not know what their game plan was. I don't know why they transitioned right back into you. That was really odd. Uh, misses the enchantress here. If you can get the hit on the enchantress, that's so good. Uh, oh, the stun man is so stupid. Ah, she should have been down, but enchantress. Oh my gosh, I'm getting mad for you. I'm just getting mad at enchantress, bro. This character's so dumb, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, I just don't want to think about enchantress, man. Ah, oh, she's so annoying. Anyway, good down on the uh, on the mind's eye. She's dead. She is dead on chair. Very solid down. No more decoder to worry about now. The question is, who is the next chase? Probably Enchantress, but like, ugh. Chasing Enchantress, man. And you found her, wow, okay. She didn't even try and transition out of the area even though she was a half elf. Oh, oh, gonna try and down her with statues. Okay, tried to cut her off the kiting areas. Smart, You use it, dropping the little thingy so you can have a little bit of extra range on the, the, the sculptures there. Uh. Bro, that is a, that is a sculptor hitbox. I'm like, oh, that is such, this is such a sculptor moment, man. The miss blink. I'm gonna cry. Oh, oh, and the I, dude, I'm crying. I'm actually crying. Cause the thing is, this is like exactly. What, oh my gosh, I can't, man. I'm actually gonna, okay. Finally, get the down. I'm actually crying, man. 
thing is, you're not even doing bad. It's just Enchantress is so dumb, man. And Sculptor's hitbox is, or freaking attack speed is so bad, man. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry, man. I feel so bad. Oh, Enchantress is so dumb. Why is she so dumb, man? This character needs a rework. She's so annoying. All right, put her in the chair. I mean, you, you did eventually get the hit, but like, man, the mist blink just hurts. The thing, the thing I'm gonna start doing when I play this character is I'm gonna, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ant's okay, man, yo, Melly, Melly, whoa. Melly, that was a bit of an early rescue, don't you think? The stun, man, <laughs> the stun. But didn't even transition into a pallet or anything. I would've tried to loop Shack. I don't know why she didn't try to loop Shack. I mean, I know somebody's decoding in there, but like, you know, it's better, if you're gonna die, if you're like on your last chair, like if you're in like critical, if you're, if you're the next target, right? You want to survive more than uh, more than anything else, so it's it's okay to knock people off of ciphers if you like absolutely need to survive, right? Like don't die just for like 10% decoding speed. And the ciphers pretty much aren't almost done anyway. Yeah, I, I would have liked to see you loop the shack, or li like to see her loop the shack. I guess I don't know why I'm trying to give tips to the enchantress. So I want the enchantress to go down, bro. <laughs> but Lily's here, gonna come in for the rescue next while Ento's working on the last cipher. Huh? Trying to get some hits with the statues. Maybe one or two. Nope. <laughs> nope. And, oh, gets the farm. No Cypher Pop. No Cypher Pop. Let's go. No Cypher Pop indeed. Put that Enchantress back in that chair and send her back to the manor. Thank goodness, dude. I'm so happy to see that. <laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm such a hater. I just don't like fighting Enchantress, man. Especially as, like, Sculptor Man. Because when you get it, when you, she gives it, like, the, the chip hits, like, ah, oh, man. But now you're going back for Melly. You know she was working on this Cypher here. Uh, Melly, what are you doing, Melly? Melly, no! What are you doing, Melly? No! She got caught on the wall, I think. Oh, and they're gonna get greedy and push this cipher. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, no! Nope, I was, I was wondering if he had palace slam. That was me, dude. Every survivor wants to come back and palace slam me. I would have got palace slam there. Lily, can't she? Oh snap! The damage is getting crazy. One more basic hit on both of them, they go down. Oh, can they do it? Can they pop? It must, okay, that, that Cypher must have been at like 90 something percent. Like they, 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 they were getting greedy for a reason, right? Well, nice work. I love to see a 4K as Sculptor because man is it freaking rare. Uh, I won't lie that Melly kind of threw just a little bit. Um, I don't really know what she was doing. Uh, I didn't even try and drop that pallet there. That pallet would have uh, brought them, a, uh, bought them a little bit of time. I don't know. Regardless, nice work cleaning up as Sculptor. I'm gonna guess Crocodile, let's see. Bro, you're in Crocodile, let's go. I am now five, four, I think 13. That's pretty good. Okay, I saw Sculptor, but that's that's not who we're watching. We're going to be watching uh, Michelle Sia. I'm sorry if I butcher your name or just anybody's name. Uh. Ooh, hiding. Hiding first, that's good. That's actually good. You wanna, you wanna make sure you don't get spotted. As, as the decoder here. Sculptor could probably see you out a window since she's up there. Um, yeah, I guess I, I see the point of hiding, but I, I wouldn't have hid for that long. <laughs> Especially since you could see her location after you used the little, uh, the little cane or whatever the heck it's called. So yeah, now, now you just get to start going to work on these ciphers. Oh, but now you're transitioning out of the area. Oh, and this is good. Yeah, see, here's what you want to do. See, here that has a 10% decoding debuff. Mind's Eye comes in, uh, sets up Priestess Portal. And uh, yeah, it works, works on the cheerleader cipher. See, that's what you want to do. G give, give your cipher over to your decoders, everybody. That's what you want to do. Cowboy does go down, unfortunately, but you know, anybody else should rescue. Oh, ooh, goes to the priestess portal to avoid the sculpture statues. Interesting. Actually, I don't know that since I know it, like the priestess portal has after images. Can, can the sculptures hit the after images on the priestess portals? I actually don't know that. I tried to, I actually tried to break a priestess long portal using sculptures. I don't think it worked. Uh, but Priestess, yep, she got the she got the basement rescue, using her funny little portal and Tide. Cowboy does indeed get hit, but he's got Tide. He can just go back and work on the other cipher now. Let's go, dude. The Mind's Eye decoding is going crazy right now, and another cipher is about to be finished. Let's go. We go back through Priestess portal. Yep, helps you get a little distance. Uh, so only two ciphers done so far, but there should be some good spread out progress, probably. Uh, cheerleader is exposed. Priestess, I think, was working on a side. They might just sell Cowboy here. Can she get it? Can she get it? Cheerleader? She does get it. Okay. And then Cowboy gets farmed. Cowboy, Cowboy dies. Oh, this is a five-player rank. Do you see that? That's five-player rank. Interesting. Oh, why are you... 
What are you doing? Why are you leaving your cipher? Okay, I don't know why you're leaving your cipher actually. What what's the what's the point? I guess you must have thought Sculptor was coming near you, but like What? It's late game. Yeah, you don't want to leave your I uh, yeah, I guess I guess she was heading toward that area. I I'm not sure why specifically you left that area. Sculptor found you. But that cipher is almost done. Yeah, I guess you guys have been spreading out your cipher progress. Uh, it's good to see you transition. I guess there's been a lot of transition. Oh, oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> got, a sculpt got a freaking sculpture hit. And yeah, she's going to come after you since you have no kiting abilities. Um, flywheel. Nice flywheel. Oh. Oh, we're going to go down. Oh, it goes down. But the cyphers are got to be so close to being ready, surely. And this is your first chair, too. What? Not even no chair her first. Chair her first. What are you doing, sculpt sculptor? I probably would. I probably would. Yeah. The thing is, now you can do it, right? Now you can do it while while she's on the chair. Force them off the cipher. Maybe towards you, so you know they're coming in or something. But it looks like Priestess is gonna come on in, and yeah, that that cipher that you were working on is like almost prime. It's like a ninety percent or something. So this this should be probably a tie. This is looking like a tied game here. As long as Priestess, well, even if Priestess gets terror shocked, yeah, she she can literally get terror shocked, and they'll pop. Yeah, pop, pop. Come on, pop. And... Oh, she... I'm sorry. You should have got hit there. Uh, the, she just messed up. Honestly, the, sculpt, the, the hunter just messed up. Yeah, you, she should have got a hit on you there. Uh, I mean, this is probably still a tie. But if she got a hit on you right there, like right there, she could have chaired and... Oh, she swapped to abnormal already. Interesting. Oh, yeah. She, she could have chaired and at least like tried to go after the priestess or something. Potentially get a 3k. But yeah, this is, this is probably just a tie. Although... I suppose there is a small chance, a small chance for a three escape since the dungeon is somewhat nearby. I don't know if you know the dungeon is nearby though. Yeah, that exit gate is not open. Flywheel, nice. Yeah, but what can you do? What 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 can you do? Like yeah, you can you can just keep running, but <laughs> you just kind of keep running until you go down. I think. Thirty seconds later. Oh my gosh. Yo, the palace. Wait, the precious portal. Hold on. Oh, it's about to. No way. She set up a chain for you. No way. And they were about to run out to... No way. No way. The priestess... Oh, that vaulting speed. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a foot race. Oh, can you make it? Can, she's got to be right behind you, surely. Oh, she closed you off. Ah, can you make... I don't think you can make it. You're so slow. You feel so slow right now. Nah, you were so close. What are you popping off for? Yo, this she's been chasing you for so long. The dungeon's right there. You don't know it though. That's the, that's the issue. You don't know the dungeon's there. One more chip hit and you go down. Oh, wait, the priestess. Wait, that's that's a long portal. Don't go don't go in there. You'll die. The dungeon's right there. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh my, oh my, oh my. <gasps> Can you crawl? Can you crawl? Oh, you're gonna be able to make it. Yep, because you have flywheel. No way. No freaking way, man. The priestess portals helped you out so okay you know what guys here's a good priestess nerf make all her portals disappear after she leaves i'm just saying i'm just saying you know i think that'd be a good priestess nerf she's so broken like that that would not have happened without the priestess support like that portal was about to run out too like you went in it like oh, the last few seconds it was even available oh my gosh man that was clutch though that was freaking clutch you kited the sculptor for like almost for like uh, pretty much the entire time she had detention you kited her that was actually insane. I'm gonna guess Griffin. You're in Mammoth? Or no, was Griffin 3 at the time? Okay, if you're in Griffin 3 at the time of the match, then that's Griffin. All right, so I'm right, it's Griffin, let's go. Yo, dude, another W, we're crazy out here. Last match of the day, we are going to be watching Joseph here, uh, also known as ADZ Lucia T. Uh, also, Lucia Thor something, uh, it knows their in-game name. Going up against uh, Prospector, Batter, Enchantress, and Psychologist. Going to go into the Mirror World and absolutely obliterate the Enchantress, right? Yeah, boom. Um, bit of an interesting spot to hide right next to a Cypher. Uh, that doesn't really help her chance as much. Uh, goes into the real world. Oh, interesting. Oh my, whoa, the Psychologist? What? What the? Why was the Psychologist here? Okay, yeah. Um, that 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 this type of uh, I think it's an accessory that like forces characters into the card. That's actually so good. This accessory is so good. It's really hard to see, um, for like cowboys and stuff to rescue when uh they're in that or whatever. So nice, nice. Got the chair on the enchantress. Slowing down the side for us. Psychologist in the area. Probably wanted to uh, free the enchantress. Oh, 
There she is, and boop. Yep, good hit. Now you don't want to... I mean, you could, I guess. The thing is, you don't really want to down the Psychologist right now because she's going to have stress to work with. But you also are JoJo, so it actually doesn't matter now that you think about it. Yeah, it actually doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess, I guess for JoJo it doesn't matter because the thing is, it's like... Yeah, she's going to have her stress, but you do 0.75 damage, so it literally doesn't matter. Um, it all, it only the, the thing about the stress is it really only applies... Uh, it really applies to characters that can't do above 0.5 damage. I mean, I guess... Um, I don't know if Hermit... I don't know if it matters to Hermit as much. Actually, no, it shouldn't. If he gets a hit right away, if he farms, that is. If he farm them right off the chair, like immediately hit them off the chair, it shouldn't matter to Hermit. And it shouldn't matter to Jojo either. Ooh, the warp back? Hold on. The Jojo gaming is kind of crazy. I don't, why can Opera Singer do that? Like, at zero presence, but Jojo can't. Like, what the heck, man? Ooh, good flower from the Prospector. Magnet, okay. Oh. All right, he's gonna... He's gonna, yeah, gonna take the hit there. Maybe he's trying to force a chair hit. But boop, yep, you can farm Psychologist. Oh, but maybe a bit of a premature magnet, because now, I mean, nice stun. What I would have liked to see is Prospector run out of the area. Then when he, then when you pick up the survivor. Huh? He's waiting, he's waiting. Oh my gosh, the warp back, hold on. The Jojo go with the big brain. Yeah, now you know he has no magnets. He just used up two of them. And the batter misses the ball too. Oh my gosh. Both the harassers just not putting in the work. Oh, goody. And yeah, not a single Cypher done because they're all here busy. And there are there are three harassers on this team, man. There are three <laughs> harassers. Batter's just, yeah, waiting his sweet time. Maybe revealed himself a little early. Oh, but got the chair hit. Ooh. Gets the body block. Um, I don't, I would not have waited there. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see the point of waiting there. Um, yeah, okay, so... Psychologist still dies. Her stress is not enough to save her, I don't think. Maybe. No, it's not enough. Yeah, it must have just barely not been enough. Um, Ganji's still here. Oh, the blink, the, the flywheels of the blink, hold on. He flywheeled the blink, and down he goes. I mean, they they were doing good. They, they had a good game plan. Like, flywheeling the blink was kind of crazy. That, that was actually kind of crazy, but, you know, he, he didn't really uh, do much after that. So, yeah, it's, um... It's looking pretty rough for the survivors here. Gonna set up JoJo's camera world again. Uh, increase, or I guess decrease the Cypher Rush. And, oh, here comes Norton. Oh, not not a good time, buddy. Oh, that was so close. Oh, he's back up. And misses the ball. Yo, I feel so bad for this batter. He's missed so many balls. He has missed so many of the balls. Yeah, he's, gonna, he's gonna crush them now. <laughs> but, you know, the enchantress in the area, so you can't exactly pick him up. Yeah, they're just gonna keep on harassing. Yeah, this is this is pretty annoying. Yeah, the big oh that was just a little stun, little stun. Thing is, the enchantress here has to have like the kite of her life while also pressuring this uh while, while also pressuring Oh but yep. You get her with that little trick. Oh man. Yeah, the the, the tight cutting doesn't exactly work against JoJo for too long. Does for a little bit, but not for too long. Yeah, so now Enchantress is in danger. Oh my gosh, they are they are all here. Yeah, no, this is it. I, I don't see them winning this. Thing is, they're using up all their resources. Camera world is gone, but they're not decoding at all. No one's decoding. Like, you can't... The batter doesn't even have a self-heal. He can't do anything by himself. No, this is this is too much. This is too much support. They do they do finally get the batter back up, but the batter... I'm sorry. He's He's been, he's been not doing good today. Oh. Interesting. Drop some pallets. Like, the batter literally has to have the kite of his life here if they want any chance of winning. He actually has to have the kite of his life here. Like, start going on a rampage. Start smacking the balls into the hunter as much as possible. Like, the confined space is so good, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the confined space, dude. Yeah, the batter... The batter's doing good. Pallet... Doesn't drop the pallet. Okay. I Honestly, I probably just pallet spam at this point. I, I, the thing is, I know you have Blink. I guess maybe that's what he's scared of. He's probably scared of Blink. Come on, you got, you got to go for a ball here. Oh my gosh, just barely, just barely is able to make it. His super fast, yeah, his super fast vaulting. Oh, but the swap, the Blink. Will you go for it? Just go for Blink. I would just go for Blink right there. You don't even need it though, probably. Okay, if it was me, I'd probably just go for Blink. He doesn't have fly anymore. His ball. I thought you Blink. I actually thought you blinked. There's the Blink. 
No, missed blink. He predicted it. He predicted the blink. Oh my gosh. Okay, this batter is actually kind of crazy. He's been messing up a lot of his balls, but... Oh my gosh, this batter! Okay, I feel bad for you, but this batter is actually doing so well. I actually have to just give it up. Like, he is, he has actually predicted two blinks correctly. But the warp back, the confined space is still here. All right, I'm sorry. This batter is actually such a goat. Oh, but you, you're you done. You're done with mess. You're done playing games. You're just going to go into the mirror one and down him. Yep, that makes sense. I don't know what the cypher... I, okay, I don't know why the cyphers aren't looking, like, good at all. The thing is, the batter, that batter just counted for, like, a whole minute. How the heck has there not been... A, okay, finally. I was about to say, how has not a single cypher been done in all that... Oh, no! And you found Norton! Oh, this is bad. This is bad for the survivors. Oh, this that mirror world changed everything, man. That mirror world changed everything. Oh, you're not even gonna down Norton. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I thought you'd at least hit him. You're not even gonna hit him? Hmm. Okay. Oh, what? The batter rescued his mirror version self. Interesting. But. Oh, what? Why are they supporting the mirror version so much? What the heck? There's. I mean. Eh? But why? Why are you supporting the mirror version so much? What? But why? What was the point of supporting the mirror version so much? I don't understand. Uh, batter still has one ball. The pallets? Yo, okay, I'm sorry. These survivors are actually so good. He was waiting. Yeah, see, he's even waiting. He was waiting. He was waiting for you to break the pallet so he could swing at you. That's just pretty good for batters. Again? Oh my gosh. He was doing it again. Yep, he's doing it again. Dude, this prospect, dude, the, the support. I'm so, I feel so bad. This is like, honestly, my average hunter match. Like, generally, this is like 90% like of my hunter matches because like, I always go up against harassing characters, I swear. But you have Blink almost ready. Still has one more ball to work with. He's on a rampage. Does have Flywheel. Dude, I, I, I am generally so impressed with both the survivor and the hunter gameplay right now. Like, he's pretty, he, this batter is doing so good. And he finally goes down. He finally goes down. And I think, is he done on share? I forget. It's been so long. I, I don't think he's done on share. Let's see. That's his first share. <laughs> I didn't even know, man. Dude, it took you so long to down that batter. I feel so bad for you. But it was also some beautiful support gameplay by the survivors. Prospector has full healed. Boop is able to take it. Ooh, that never feels good. Misses, misses the uh, flywheel there. Uh, closing in. The blink. <gasps> Pop? Can they pop? He has no bar time! Oh no! No! And they're right there! The enchantress is right! But she has so many stuns! Nah, this is it. That's it. No, this is it. The thing is, you, you even hear tonight, all you have to do is just wait. You just have to wait. And if you really wanted to, you could just you could just camera world even. Nah, you're gonna wait for the batter to die, yeah. Makes sense. Oh, here she is. The stuns. But they can't rescue the batter in time. Nah, they can't. They can't rescue batter in time. Nope. Oh, it, oh dude. The prospector not bringing borrowed time. Oh, my gosh. The prospector missing the flywheel. Not having borrowed time. Oh, man. That was just... That was just... And then the, the well-timed blink. Like, oh, man. It all just fell into place. It all just fell into place right at the very end there. Processor, pro processor missing the uh, missing the flywheel. You getting the blinket to stop him from the rescue. Yeah, Enchantress might be able to get out if she goes for her dungeon. She's transitioning. Um, only has two stuns to work with, and you know she's in the area. You're picking up tinnitus, but dungeon is not nearby. She's probably looking for dungeon. She doesn't know where it is. I mean, oh no, it's right there. Oh, it is right there. Never mind. Okay, I said usually it highlights dungeon, but I guess it. All right. Yep, she can get it. It's a, it's freaking enchantress, man. Of course she's gonna get dungeon. Yeah, that that was a great game though. That was a great game. You know, beautiful gameplay from JoJo. Beautiful gameplay from the survivors. Uh, you know, while if I was me, man, I'd be suffering. But from an entertainment perspective, that was beautiful. Like it was beautiful gameplay from both Hunter and Survivor. The batter, dude. The batter was actually cracked. I'm sorry, that batter was cracked. Like he may he maybe missed a few of his balls like in the early game, but he was like actually so crack like he was predicting your movements and everything like oh my gosh dude that that was that was crazy that that's gotta be at least manticore right surely oh saber tooth dang that 
that saber too? That, that felt like some pretty advanced gameplay. I don't even lie. So yeah, it looks like I got six out of 15 correct guesses today, everybody. That's not so bad. Honestly, I was kind of hoping for like, 7 out of 15, and it would have been closer to 50%. One day, I, I swear, there's gonna be one of these sessions where I just get so many correct. Surely, right? There, there's just gotta be a chance, right? There's gotta be one of those days. But yeah, great matches, everybody. Those were all so fun to freaking watch. And we'll be back with some more Guessing Your Rank soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for submitting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.